Hello everyone, hope you all are doing great and uh, welcome back to the channel and uh, today we are going to be building this uh, really exciting app. So we're going to be building this drawing app where you're going to have like you know drawing controls and uh, basically a clear control and uh, like I'm not an artist I promise you that but I try my best so this is what I could come up with like you know so actually I, I built this uh, really simple uh, scene uh, like sketching this scene using the app that we're gonna create okay so uh, we're gonna be building this um, and uh, yeah it's gonna be purely in Swift UI so uh, once again uh, this is gonna be Swift UI 3 and iOS 15 because I'm gonna be using canvas uh, just uh, to let you know so uh, like you know when you're uh, coming in uh, make sure that you have the Xcode version Xcode 13.2 or above anything more than Xcode 13.2 would work okay all right with that let's go ahead and get started before we start into the code I want to plug in a quick promo right here I know a lot of you have actually taken the advantage of this uh, free course uh, that uh, we have published on devtechy.com and uh, more of you can take more advantage of this so go ahead like you know there are like 28 lessons uh, talk about text views in Swift UI 3 what has changed what has been new additions and what are the things that you can do with the text views so uh, go ahead and check it out and uh, there are like you know all the there are various other courses that are hosted right now on adaptechy.com so uh, go ahead and check that out and uh, we've got a pretty healthy blog section as well so um check that out as well and while you're here actually make sure you actually sign up for our weekly newsletter i haven't been sending out that many uh, i'm gonna be starting like you know uh, starting to get more regular in this i promise that but it's not gonna be more than once a week okay and it's strictly gonna be announcements about new courses new blog posts and stuff like that okay so with that said uh, let's go ahead and get started to the topic for the day uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, like I said, we're gonna be using the canvas uh, API that was introduced in iOS 15 with Swift UI 3 so we're gonna use that but we need a bit of a data structure to hold basically those lines that we were drawing so these lines that we are drawing right here these points uh, we need some sort of data structure to hold this and we're gonna create a very simple one right here and I'm gonna call this a line uh, because most of them are gonna be line okay so we're gonna have points and these points are going to be represented by CG points. So not CG PDF, CG points. There we go. Uh, we're going to have color. And this is going to be of type color because these lines, each line is going to have their own color. So you can actually make this mixed color scene. Uh, the one that I have uh, made right here. I've created. Let me take a screenshot of this because I actually like, I, didn't, I never create any beautiful. So I'm going to keep this. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, now we have the data structure. This is it. Uh, it's going to be as simple as that. And uh, then we're going to go into our content view. Okay. And in the content view, I'm going to create a state uh, variable. And uh, let's, let's make it straight private state private var. It's going to uh, have a, an array of line. Okay. And initially this guy is going to be just an empty array. Uh, we're going to have another state variable and this is going to be for selected color okay the color that user has selected so color dot orange is what we're going to start with so once again if we go back to the completed app uh, the uh, selected color is when user actually selects the color and uh, let's say they actually draw something so as you can see I'm actually drawing these birds right here and I can actually draw some more fruits and notice that the colors of the um, uh, of the item that we have drawn is taken uh, from this color that we have picked okay so that's what selected color means all right next we are going to have these uh, buttons right here so let me start actually the canvas so you can see what is going on in real time okay so i'm going to resume this and uh let's run it and there we go okay so 
just go a little bit okay so first thing first thing we need is a uh, this uh, top section to show different uh, colors uh, or color pencils and uh, this one is actually for clear so let's go ahead and create the color pencil i'm going to uh, create two functions uh, two helper functions okay so at view builder function uh, is going to call it's going to be called color button this is just a color button that takes a color and this guy returns some view okay and what we are going to do is we're going to simply create a button here now this button is going to have some action and it's going to have a label okay the label is going to be an image of system uh, name and this is going to be circle circle dot fail dot fail okay and the font uh, let's give it a foreground color while we had it okay foreground color is going to be the color that we have passed uh, the font is going to be the font called large title okay now if you notice at this point are uh, these buttons they don't look like a circle like you know why am I drawing a circle here so let's go ahead and draw this and I'll show you like you know how you can change them into these cool looking pencils okay um, so what we're gonna do is uh, for the uh, for the button the action is gonna be we're gonna take the selected color and assign the color that has been passed in okay so we're gonna go here remove this text um, dev techie placeholder and we're gonna create a v stack and inside the v stack we are going to have an h stack and this is basically going to host all of our color buttons so i'm going to say for each and um, color dot green orange blue red pink and let me add black as well because i thought like you know i was missing a black color and purple there we go okay um cool uh, and we are gonna make them id by the key path self these are gonna be these are all hashable so they are all gonna be fine we're gonna get each individual color from here and we're gonna simply call our color button function by passing the color and there we have it our buttons are now created now i need one more button basically this one is going to be to uh, have that clear um, view so the, the, the clear button so i'm going to say uh, view builder and uh, not the function view builder property wrapper clear button this one does not take any parameter but it does return some view okay and uh, this is basically once again is a button that takes a uh, that does some function and has a label the function that is gonna do is all the lines is gonna basically set them to empty you want to clear the scene essentially that's what we're doing here and uh for the uh label itself we're going to use an image system name and we're going to use pencil dot tip dot crop dot circle dot badge dot minus okay and that's the default to be large title and the foreground color to be gray okay and let's go ahead and add this right underneath so clear button i'm going to resume our canvas and what we should have is a clear button right there okay so all these colors they look fine uh we actually can allow user to select these colors but um they don't look as cool as the pencil tip so let's go ahead and use something called a mask okay and we're gonna use a mask view and we're gonna provide the mask uh, mask modifier and provide a view that we wanna uh, we want our uh, view to mask around so we're gonna use another system image this time we're gonna use something called pencil dot tip 
okay now if you notice these are all like very small you can still see them but like you know uh, we can actually set the large title to make them big there we go and these are our pencil tips that we have created in the demo app as well okay all right so what we're gonna do is uh, we are now moving forward to the drawing stage okay for the drawing we're gonna use something called canvas okay so we're gonna draw the canvas right underneath our v stack so we're gonna simply say canvas okay canvas gives us access to two things the, the context the canvas context and the size so we're gonna use those two okay and with the help of those two we can draw some lines so we're gonna say for line in lines we're gonna have a path so we're gonna create a path variable and we're gonna say path dot add lines line dot point so build a line from these points and draw them like create a path and take the canvas context and stroke basically the line out with style okay so we're gonna say we want to stroke the path with the graphics um, this width is gonna be basically the shedding so basically the color that we want to provide so I'm gonna say the color is gonna be color dot color um, line dot color okay we want like you know one specific color we cannot set like you know a specific color here if we do all of our drawing all of our lines are going to be of that same color we want each line to have its own color our data structure actually supports that line to have like you know its own color so we're going to rely on that to color that line all right um and then for the uh, stroke style we're we gonna create one with um line width of uh, five points or like you know if you want to like a little bit thicker so you can do 10 i'm going to do five okay uh the line cap is going to be round a uh, line join is going to be round as well okay rest all these other things we don't need them okay make sure all the um, everything is closed properly all right so this is our canvas for drawing what we already have inside the lines okay but what about the actual drawing itself like you know if you try to do something like you know it's not gonna draw or do anything because right now canvas knows how to draw but like you know we are not adding any stuff for it to draw like you know any lines and stuff so for that we're gonna use gesture so we're gonna put a gesture recognizer uh add it to the canvas itself right there okay so gesture and we're gonna use a drag gesture okay so drag gesture and we're gonna set the minimum distance and coordinate space so minimum distance we're gonna set zero okay so as soon as you touch the at the point and start dragging we're gonna start uh, basically painting uh in that at that location okay and the coordinate space is gonna be local okay um, and then we're gonna attach on change to this so we're gonna say on change let me hold on a second okay so it should not be here okay so this should be here so let me put this drag gesture so yeah on change for the drag gesture okay so whenever the drag value changes we want to actually capture that so we get actually uh, access to the value itself the new value that has been changed we're going to get the position out of it so position is going to be value dot location okay and uh, we're gonna uh, do a quick check so we're gonna say if the value dot translation is zero okay so if uh, there's no translation has taken place uh, so in that case we're gonna actually take our lines and append uh, the uh, line with the point so append line with points and we're gonna use the position so we're gonna basically um, pass that position in the array okay so as soon as you stop it's gonna actually uh, just store that and with the selected color okay whatever color we have selected we're gonna use that otherwise what we're gonna what we want to do is we want to get the last index the so last point in the lines and we want to append um, like you know 
towards the last point. So uh, guard let last index. So we're gonna go into our lines dot indices dot last. Okay. Uh, if we can't get that, we're gonna return from here. Okay. But if we do, then we're gonna say lines. Uh, last index is uh, dot points okay dot append so we are actually appending points now uh, for the position pose position there we go okay so this is basically going to draw the line for us using drag gesture so let me show you so I'm gonna just um, start and stop and zoom in and select the green color and I'm gonna start drawing as you can see each line is taking its own color okay so we can draw right now right and our clear button actually works just like it does uh, it did for the other scene okay so I'm not gonna create another beautiful art <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna leave that up to you, but I'm gonna uh, write uh, dev tech e with all the colors. So D E V and let's see if we have enough color. We're gonna repeat the color and then Z H. Oh, I say H. Okay. I. and e okay so with that we have reached the end of this video okay once again do check out uh, the um devtechy.com uh like get yourself that free course uh that uh, i have published and uh like you know you guys signing up and like you know uh basically like you know taking these courses gives me encouragement to do more so uh don't forget, this is your, this is my inspiration uh, for you all uh, to continue to do more uh, for this uh, channel and for devtech.com. So uh, go ahead and uh, grab this course, uh, the free one, and also check out like, you know, my other courses and also check out our blog. Okay. So with that, thank you so much once again for watching and I will see you guys in next video. Make sure you subscribe, hit like and the bell button uh, for more videos like these. Thanks so much.